doubtful, uh, what's the status right now? Um, I would keep doubtful. Chances of Slim that he's going to play. You know, he's with the medical staff right now, and uh, we evaluate where he is right now. I would say he's, there's a good chance he's not playing tonight. Well, we're not playing game, but you know, I'll keep it open. Final decision coming from the medical staff, so he's doubtful. Slim chances he's going to play tonight. Josh would start. That's Josh would start, yeah. Well, what did you see in Josh last night? Even though know, he didn't have a big scoring night, it like a defense. You talked to him about getting better. Did you sense an improvement in that last night with his defense and his effort on that? Yeah, I think he made a couple of big shots for us. So he's, I think he's involved. He's engaged offensively. Uh, as, a, as a young guy, um, he always competes. Josh Jackson always plays hard, competes. We have no problem with his effort. But we, as we know, when this level, you have to play well too. You have to play, you know, you have to know Scott and you have to know who you're guarding, you have to execute the game plan. You know, competing and playing hard should be a given thing, should be something that we, he can rely on always on. And that's a talent. Playing hard with talent, he does play hard, but also he's got, as a young player, is learning how to play with the poise, how to make the right decisions, how to execute game plan, not to rush into the decision offensively, defensively. So. Uh, he's shown, uh, I think, improvement from where he was starting the season. And right now, uh, yeah, I think his game is different. I would say better. Has Luke have done what you expected? I mean, when he has, has, what he's produced, did you expect him to have put up these kind of numbers and that kind of impact? Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. You know, he 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 follows uh, he followed the steps so that I think it was very important for a young player starting a Slovenian small team, moving to. Uh, to uh, Madrid, to Spain, and starting junior level, uh, building his way up, uh, fighting for a spot in a, in, a, in a professional team, Real Madrid, uh, fighting for a roster spot, fighting for uh, minutes, fighting to be a rotational guy, fighting to, to be a starter and become MVP of the EuroLeague, MVP, one of the you know, top five players in the European Championship. So, you know, he's, uh, he's um, a very talented player, very versatile offensive player, and, uh, it's nothing new to him, you know, that all these challenges and challenge situation that we throw to him, he's kind of find a way to to uh, handle well and to feel comfortable. So that's also talent and I'm not surprised at all. What do makes you any idea what his ceiling is? You know, I wish him nothing but the best. You know, he represents the little country Slovenia, he represents European basketball, he is upcoming the, I would say Good NBA player. Right. You know, wish him, wish him uh, nothing but the best. You know, like I wouldn't predict when it comes to the. I don't want to be right or wrong. You know, I think he's, he's growing into the very, very, very special player. What makes a step back three? Because step back three is such a dangerous weapon. Step back threes? Yeah. For him. That's that's one of the you know things that he, in his repertoire. <laughs> he loves that. He loves. He's not afraid of moment. He practiced that shot. I don't know. I'm not sure now with Dallas, but the national team, he will take the trainers and then he will play whoever is in the gym, he will also play one-on-one. -on -one. Reminds me a little bit on Steve Nash and Dirk Nowitzki. 20 years ago when I was here watching these guys playing, they will play one-on-one, -on -one whole practice long. Luca, if you put him in the drills, he'll give you okay, he'll be okay. But if he plays one-on-one, -on -one, whoever, he can play with you guys. Uh, he's going to accept the challenge. He, is, he, he wants to play. That's, he's, he's a kid, he'll be really playing basketball. So, That's so talent too. So he's been shooting that shot as long as you've known him, right? Yeah. Yes, that's, that's what he does. Do you, you get any credit for that? Going left. Going left. Do you get any credit for it? Did you show him the shot? Or? Yeah, that's, that's it's kind of a joke that it's kind of circling around. You know, when I start coaching the national team, and we had a coaching meeting as a staff, and then we just acknowledged that how much we how much impact we had after four practices <laughs> on him growing as a player, and what we did, and we did a miracle, right. just helping grow as a player. That's so it's, we're taking all credit for him right. being where he is right now. There's a lot of players from around that area, former Yugoslavia. Is there something about how they train players growing up there that makes them more successful or more suited to the NBA nowadays? Kind of complex question because you know it's going to mix a lot of different things when it comes to the, the way that you know it's tall people live there. You know, one of the top tallest people in, 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 in Europe um, and uh, the character. You know, and they're taking basketball and sports very very serious. You know, those guys are practicing. They're not spoiled. And when it comes to the you know two sessions a day, it's a normal daily routine. You don't ask why. You don't know better. You just practice, practice, get better, work on your game, and get a lot of success in the last. 40 years, you know, national team, Yugoslavia national team, and then 
after unfortunately the civil war all these countries are separate but they all um, have a good national teams and the certain standards that these kids can you know they can follow those idols and then and, 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 uh, an older generation who kind of set a tone and set a set of standards when it comes to the what's the what's the good basketball players what do you need so he had a lot of good players to follow and uh, from the former Yugoslavia and you know, Serbian Croatian Slovenian so pretty good basketball playing yeah. is yeah. there a lot of community between players from even though it's, it's a bunch of different countries now do you think that players from that region still feel a sort of kinship and support for each other even whether they're from Serbia or Slovenia or Croatia or just being in that area do you think they support each other? I mean, they they respect each other. They respect each other, but yeah, there's no some special boundaries when it comes to you know they respect each other. International players, you know, I don't I don't see any kind of us like special special connection. You know, same language, same mentality, same you know, different dialects, but you know that can be something that's kind of similar for all of them. But you know, I think the international players respect each other and respect you know all these American players because majority of the American players playing this league. You guys have had a lot of success this year against the Mavs. Why have you guys been so successful in this? We're playing twice, so got them second time back to back. We'll play a good, de good defensive game. Uh, I wouldn't take away anything from our guys playing well in those, those two games. You know, just to, you know, that's, that's I wouldn't um, I wouldn't go that deep saying what's the key for our success against Mavericks. You know, we have a game, challenging game tonight. We have a lot of respect for uh, uh, for their roster, for their team, for Coach Carla, and it's going to be a challenging night, challenging game for us. So we beat them twice, doesn't mean anything. Just a new chapter, a new game for them. Talk about the impact DeAndre's had for your team. Yeah, I mean, he's our anchor. He's a franchise player. He's uh, still 19 years old, young. Our expectations are very high. Sometimes, you know, I'm not saying not realistic, but you know we have to be realistic when it comes to the everything takes time. So he's putting a lot of time. He cares about the team. He cares about the winning. He's willing to uh, accept all the responsibilities that we put on him night, every night, every every day. And it's not easy. It's very challenging. But uh, he's our future. We love. You know we're eight wins right now, and he's going to be hopefully in a couple years. You said you wanted to see how he was going to respond after the Kentucky game. Last two games, how would you assess how he's responded? Aiden. He was definitely was the all talking, you know, that was his voice in the locker room right before the game and he was talking about a, a specifically about a Sacramento game, what he did to us in game one, you know, bad start. He was blaming all of us, you know, like we all, you know, taking blame for that, but himself too, that he's gotta do a better job and that's what truly leader does, you know, doesn't point finger at other people and just saying, I have to do a better job and that's what he did. I think his voice present, you know, it's just very important and that's he wants to be a leader of this group, that's, that's, that's the right thing to do. You know, call himself out and, and, and take all this responsibilities as a leader.